the fact that he is here is amazing. And to everyone watching, you know, people don't realize how hard it is to be an athlete. You are, you're publicly criticized. You're put out there on a pedestal. Everyone assumes that you're going to win gold for whatever reason. But then every country is assuming the same thing. You know, just the fact that he's here and that he's giving his best, the country should already be so proud of that. You know, I, I just ask that he gives his best. And, you know, that's, that's the best that anyone can ask for. If he gets gold, fantastic. If he gets silver, bronze, fantastic. If he gets fourth or he comes and skis in with me somewhere near the end, fantastic. Enjoy the fact that you're at the Olympics. Uh, and Petr Nortog, I mean, he's not even competing in the Olympics. How does that make you feel? You must be, uh, I mean, astonished by that fact. Well, he said some interesting stuff about me um, publicly earlier uh, last year. I, I think he had mentioned that I look better on, on, with oil on than on skis. He said this publicly. I hadn't met him. But he's a legend of the sport as well. You know, he didn't qualify this time. I was hoping to have a chat with him. He didn't qualify. But he's a legend of the sport. And um, it's, in that level, it's so high. It's so high. You know, there's like 10 people. 10 people could be an Olympic gold medalist, um, you know, in his country. So, you know, it's just, that's just the way it is. Speaking about oil, how cold was it during the opening ceremony? It wasn't cold at all. Um, I thought it would be cold, but there was, you know, the spirit of the people kept me warm. So I, I didn't feel the cold. Good luck with the race. Thank you Thank so you. much. I need it. <laughs> much appreciated. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm glad you had